It was a year of crises. War, <laughs> drought, civil strife that pushed hundreds of thousands of people to leave their homes and even their country. UNHCR's newly published Global Trends report shows that 2011 was a record year in a decade for forced displacements across borders. In Côte d'Ivoire, a disputed election pushed thousands into Liberia. In Libya, African refugees and migrant workers felt unsafe, even targeted. Many fled to Tunisia and Egypt. Others took boats, desperately trying to get to Europe. In the Horn of Africa, a deadly mix of conflict, drought and famine forced some 300,000 Somalis to Kenya and Ethiopia, looking for safety, food and shelter. The statistics are stark. In 2011, 800,000 people became refugees the highest number since 2000. 3.5 million became IDPs, internally displaced in their own country. In 2011, 35.4 million people, refugees, internally displaced, and asylum seekers were under UNHCR's care. Human suffering uh, on an epic scale and at the same time, we, it, it looks as if old crises never die. And uh, the Democratic Republic of Congo or Somalia or Afghanistan are going on and on with the conflicts. And we see more and more refugees in a protracted refugee situation. 70% of the refugees under UNHCR mandate have been so for more than five years. Consistent with previous years, most refugees continue to come from Afghanistan, Iraq or Somalia. Women and girls constituted 48% of all refugees globally. And in 2011, the major refugee hosting countries continued to be Pakistan and Iran. The report did have some positive news. A significant number of refugees were resettled or returned home. This included Ivorians who had fled to Liberia, Afghans who had been in Iran and Pakistan for more than a quarter of a century, and Sri Lankans who had escaped to India decades ago. As well, 3.2 million IDPs went home, the highest rate of return in more than a decade. But there are concerns about the impact of the financial crisis on funding. Uh, budgets are tight uh, and we will be uh, in 2012 inevitably having less financial resources than last year but the needs are growing so this is indeed very very challenging for us and it uh, creates uh, an enormous frustration as we are not able to do what we know people need us to do to protect and to assist them. Viewed on a 10-year basis the report reveals two worrying trends. For a fifth year in a row the forced displacement globally is above the 42 million mark. Another, that a person who becomes a refugee is likely to remain so for many years, often stuck in a camp or living in an urban area in the developing world. These trends underscore the need to prevent or resolve humanitarian crises. With political engagement, on the one hand, displacements can be prevented. On the other, people can be helped to return to go home.